And there's the Royal City United TV after the game, FA Trophy here at Stocksbridge Park Steels. Jazz had to go to penalties in the end, but in the end, we're in the next round. Yeah, absolutely. I think in in any cup competition, uh, the trophy is the aim to get into the next get, get into the next round, and, and we have done. Shown a lot of character, lads have. Uh, I think, like obviously, going behind um, twice in the game, and then and then showing some real character to get back in it. Ten minutes to go, I thought that they were only one team going to go on and win the game. Uh, when the game got stretched like that, I felt that chances had come for both teams. To be honest with you, they're good on the counter, and and, and we were um, certainly the last ten fifteen minutes. So the objective were to get in the next round. So it's a difficult place, uh, difficult place to play. Stocksbridge, the, the young, they're energetic, got a lot of um, enthusiasm in the team, and I know what Richo's teams are about. So it was a game of kind of cat and mouse. He knows what my teams are about. I know what his are like, um, and I think that showed we are sort of tense it were. Mm. The goals we've conceded, we'll look back at them again. I think we've got to do better again to defend those, defend those as a collective. That's not the bite for and the keeper, that's that's everybody. So we've got to cut out the silly goals, uh, but I'm sure that, that if we play like we did on the front foot the last 10, 15 minutes, a bit of positivity, a bit of creativity, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll win more more matches. Yeah, two new signings tonight, obviously, the, um, yeah, Danny Burns and obviously George Stewart. Your thoughts on their performance? Uh, thought they were excellent. Yeah, thought they were excellent. It's always hard. First game they've they've come into. George hasn't played much football, um, so he, he cramped up towards the end, which it's got to be a fine. Mm. He's only 18, but cramping up, so we had to take him off the pitch. And I think the big man's brought us a, a bit of sort of solidarity at the back. There, he's he's a leader. He's vocal. He's won his headers, and, and there's more to come for him. He hasn't played much football as well, so it's a good game for him to play tonight. It's just a shame that we haven't got another game Saturday coming thick and fast for the lads to play. But we'll train Thursday. We'll work hard. Saturday off and then it's into his next next one. Yeah, so just finally, Jazz, obviously, is, is this is this a good response to obviously a run of a bad few results? I, I think so. I think it, you just need to sort of stop the little bit of a, a, a bad run. Um, we'll not sort of get too high when we win and, and we need to stop getting too low when we lose. I, I'm confident that in the lads, we've got a lot of belief within the lads and, and I'm saying we've got belief myself and the management team. I think that the lads need to believe it a little bit more. Uh, lads who are not getting on the pitch or not getting as many minutes as, as they are as they want at the minute need to work hard uh, to get the chance. And I think like Jack tonight's come out had a real impact on the mm. game, and it gives you food for thought. So it's a squad, it's a collective. Uh, it's good to to get a result here tonight, and and like I said, we'll we'll work hard throughout the week and. We'll kick on to his next game, but the lads just need to dig in when things are not going well uh, and come out the other side. And, and I think we have done tonight. Well, that's all I've got for you, Jasmine. Well done again, getting through the next round. Yep, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Stop again. Well, cheers.